we got it. We got it. Oh, I don't know how we made that without dying. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. Welcome back to the channel. We are here on BMNG Drive in Shinjuku parking garage. We're gonna see if we can drift and not tangle the car up in a wall. A little uh, Tokyo Drift-esque. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, I'll follow the description box below. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you like this video. If you're returning, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button as well. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Let's do it. So this is probably not the best car to bring out to the track, but we're gonna do it anyways, because we are in a parking garage. So big body car, probably not the best option. We'll send. Don't really know where I'm going. But it's gonna get, oh, that gets tight up here. I should have got off clutch and just clutched out. I would have been fine. Ooh, left for break, little chatter. We almost took the bumper off. This is quite complicated. Doing this in this freaking garage wall in BMNG. Kind of got in the flow. That course goes that way. All right, so we're kind of getting the flow now. Wall tap it. Oh, <laughs> that's a little wall tap. Nothing major. Look back hard this way. Really want to test your drifting skills coming here to Beam and G. It is definitely testing. We got it. We got it. Oh, I don't know how we made that without dying. I don't know how we're doing this without dying. Quite honestly. JBX 100 is quite nice right now. Second gear hero. It's all the clutch kicks. Ooh, little wall tap. Did we we managed to complete a lap. We managed to complete a lap without dying. Now we're gonna just try right, to stay sideways the entire time. Oh man. It's gonna be a bumper. <laughs> and a tail light. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. I'm actually quite happy with how this is turning out. We have to bring the Corolla out here as well. So it's smaller! I think that was our first major correction issue so far. No, we're not gonna make that. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, we didn't make that. Oh, at least that was the passenger side. I think the car could still be drivable though. I think it's just body. It's starting to look like a little like Mona Lisa up in here. Let's get back behind the car. We're gonna go full side. Why not? Car's still drivable. We didn't hit any of the big parts. Feeling like uh Tokyo Drift here! That definitely hit something breakable. Wheel-wise, maybe not. How did we not bend the wheel with that one? We hit that directly square on the wheel. All my doors are open. Oh. I feel like I would not be driving this after this. Oh, my trunk's open. 
Garbage door is hanging out broken. Oh, we did break something. <laughs> and now we did. All right, so we're going to hit this button right here. We're going to bring in the Corolla. We're going to bring in the... Tofu Corolla. Initial D, Tofu Corolla. Probably my favorite Corolla. We got to get rid of that dinging. Why would anybody want a speed chime on here? Thank you. Goodbye. All right. So now we're going to go Tofu Corolla up in here. We got to get the Flippy Boys up. Screwed up. This car does not want to get as sideways as the JB. It's 100. Yep, definitely not as much power or lock as that JBX. I mean, we could add a turbo to it, but. Close the wall tap though. Okay, that um Oh we popped the radiator? That's oh, fine. Extra smoke, we're good. <laughs> we had a run bumper, we would have lost it there. <laughs> oh yep, yeah, yep, yeah, something's really broke. Steering wheel definitely not centered. Not sure what's broke. This car's gonna blow up soon. Well, now that we're back at the beginning, let's uh, hit that button and restart it. Try and get this Corolla through here. Oh, clutch damage. All right, a little faint injury, a little left foot break right on there. We got it. Ooh, really close to that wall. Backwards entry for you. Definitely having a lot of fun with this. Oh my gosh, we almost died. I need to get the head motion working and figure out how to get in car head motion working so we can actually drift this game in first person. But the game is so much fun to see in third person and see all the damage you take. Just, I guess you can do some replay angles and stuff, but. Oh, we're gonna hit that. Whoa, okay. Much smoother with. The... Ow. <laughs> Much smoother with the JBX. Definitely gonna get some more drift cars in here and see if we can't have way more fun on here. Beam and G. Definitely not the easiest. Game to drift on. When it says your drifting skills, this is definitely the game to do it. And we are on 1080 as well. I realize I remember that after the fact. We're on 1080 of rotation. Still. So we're getting solid in 1080. Nope. Not enough power. More clutch kicks is what I needed. All tap. Ooh, that was almost a little drag. Oh. I, <laughs> I flicked. Ah, I just touched him and we went all kinds of weird ways because of that tap. Full send. So thanks for all tuning in for this episode here on BeamNG. If you guys want to keep seeing BeamNG here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I like, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.